I'm out of here, dude. Now I'm probably all, uh, yeah, I have like, I have 4 HP. And the hitman is taking prisoner, I wonder where he is. If I, if I look it up. Hitman, hitman, hitman. Ha, uh, ha. Uh, wait, there are like five hitmen, dude. It was Bogdan. He was taken captive by his enemies, but we don't know where. Because you can do rescue missions in these games. Like you can go undercover and break someone out of prison. Which is pretty fun. Which is something they took out of uh, Banner Lord, I think. I should recruit some more men. Whenever I can. Let's check turning off. How much do you cost? You and seven of you for almost a thousand? Nah, a bit, a bit too rich for my blood. The music is so relaxing in this game. Prekop has been besieged once again. Maybe I should go over there. We just some villages on the way. Oh, here we go. 24 looters. And 22 Tatar raiders. Uh, I don't want to fight those guys. They are running away from me. But if I... If I attack one of them, the other will be pulled. If they are close enough. Hold this position. Hold infantry, hold this position. Cavalry, follow me. Um, everyone, hold your fire. Fire at my commands. Oh, dude, I have like no infantry. Unless they are stuck. Can't see shit. I'm expecting them to come out of that... Uh... There we go. Let's hold a little longer. And... Fire. Fire at will. Infantry. Hold that position. Wait, 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 wait. No, don't hit me. I just realized I have, like, no HP. Cavalry charge. I should have done that earlier. Yeah, I'm not gonna get involved in this. Last one side fielder. Are you my man or are you... Yeah, you are not my man. I have some of the friendly, uh, friendly troop signs turned off for more immersion. Yay, we win. Oh, I lost two men. Here we go. Heavy carpet trucks. That's better. I sell all the stuff. Uh, 
I don't know if it matters where I sell it to. Let's see. At the weapon merchant, it's 15. Armor merchant is 15. Horse merchant's 15. Okay, it's, it's all the same, really. All that for 241. Okay. I need I need even more money. Also, I'm gonna wait for like a day or so in this place. Oops, keep waiting. Just just to heal off of it. I think the army that was besieging Pericop just moved away though. We'll see if I can find anyone. But... Tatar raiders straying from scouts? I don't think so. Well, they got into another battle so now they are running away. No, Pericop's still under siege. Okay. Is it? Doesn't look like it is. Medir, welcome. How are you today? I wonder if I can. If I can uh, handle these Tatar raiders. How many pikemen do I have? I have what, just one pikeman. Maybe I should. Get some mercenaries here. And then start hunting some Tatars. Maybe this is the best way to... Um, this is the best way to like... Stay down there. Recruit men instead of running from village to village like you do in the other games. You get just at breakfast soon heading to do some cleaning chores, vacuuming and such. Nice. Good luck with your uh, chores. Thank you for popping in and saying hi. And thank you for the well wishes. Three point eight, three point two. Uh, we're never gonna catch those Tatar raiders, though. Also, these are not pikemen, right? Can I see what your equipment is? No. Pikemen you get from villages, I think. So maybe I should be recruiting people. But recruiting is so difficult in these games. In this game, specifically, rather. No one wants to join you. Five point one, five point three. Okay, we can catch these rebels. Holy shit! Was that four hundred and fifty-five men from uh, Polish? Lithuanian Commonwealth? Okay. We got the patrol on our sides. I'm just gonna charge, I think. The Scowler should handle it well enough. I don't wanna hit my own man. Nope. Need to hit a uh, higher. Did you just kill my dragoon? That better not have been my dragoon.
pa 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 ra 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 pa It would be so easy to get ca caught in the crossfire in a battle like this. I lost my dragon! Motherfucker. My rock. Yes. We should uh, find the ransom broker. Maybe in Krakow? We got some experienced cavalrymen now. Um, I, I need to organize my party. Any ransom brokers in here? Yep. Okay. Take these. Ingri, who are you? Greeting, sir. The wine here is disgusting, wouldn't you agree? I see you know your wine, eh? Oh, certainly. I am an army quartermaster with a patent from the king of Sweden himself. Or rather, I used to be. My name is Ingri and I hail from Reval. If you need provisions for amazing prices or you wish to sell your merchandise at triple the standard prices, then I am your woman. I provided all the food and wine for the court regiment of Carl Gustav himself. And everyone was perfectly content with me. Except my competitors, of course. And one day those bastards changed one of my beer barrels and my clients were treated to horse piss instead of beer. On the king's birthday, no less. Bad luck all around, what, what can one say? Now I have no patent and no savings either. Free as a bird, like it or not. Now I am looking for a commander who could appreciate my true worst. Well, you would not be out of place in my party. Very well, I agree to follow you. Now I will take into my hands the matters of selling and buying. So she might give me some trading uh, skill. And I am not only good at trading, but I can hold a blade as well. The cards often need to be protected, as I'm sure you know. Better there be no other woman around, else there's, there's a life of constant squalls. Okay, so... Companions can sometimes interact with each other in positive or negative ways. Don't hire any other woman with her, okay. I think you may get along with my companions, which I have zero of. Gather yourself. 500? Just a small nuisance though, there was a fair, fair here the other day and I sold some, some wine to a small party without permission from the local trade guild. Until I paid their fine of $500, the guards will not let me leave town. Uh, okay, fine. Some trading might be useful. You, you're gonna need some armor, though. Also, I'm gonna... Maybe I should rename this, like, Companions. And... You know, because I don't want to send them into battle. I don't think they will die, but... If they get wounded, then I, I won't be benefiting from their skills. Hold on. I might have something for you. There you go. Uh, wait, this is, this is mine, this is better mine. You take this. And take this. There you go. Now you're fit for battle. That's fine. I'm going to sell my stuff as well. Hundred and sixteen for B full shit. No one here. Uh, 
I don't know what to do next. I, I wanted to join... Uh, maybe I should find that Frenchman. Talk to that traveler. Maybe I need to, like, continue the story or something. Um, we need to find a traveler. Checking for recruits as well at the same time. So I should save just in case. How are there never any recruits? Maybe this game is really like, okay, you're not supposed to recruit anyone from religious. That that's in the past. Now it's all mercenaries. Maybe that's realistic for the time. I, I don't know. My, my historical knowledge is not that great. Pop visitor. No. Wait, wait, wait. There was someone else. Ah, here you go. Um, I'm looking for one of... I'm, I'm looking for a certain Frenchman. Jacques de Clermont. I'll tell you her story teller, sure. He's in Smolensk. Could have guessed that. Let's go to Smolensk. See if he like has some mission for us. Smolensk is under siege apparently. Okay. Why are you all uh, standing in a line like this? Where is Jack? Maybe he's in the fortress? Tell. Let's talk to the mayor as well. You seem to be new to Smolensk. I am the mayor of the town. Do you happen to have a job for me? I was looking for someone to deliver some wine. Would something like that suit you? I have a cargo of wine that needs to be delivered to the ta tavern in Riga. If you can take 8 units of wine to Riga within the next 7 days, you'll earn yourself 130 dollars. Sure. Uh, it's not... A lot of money, but... I'll take it. I guess Jacques left. I'm gonna kill these guys so I dare you live from live. Just charge. I, I need a faster horse, that's for sure. Actually, you know what? Calorie fall follow me. Let's stay here for a bit and shoot them. I hit him. I have charge. Infantry caught up. Ow. Wait, I didn't get it. Why did I say ow? Ow, 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 ow. ow. Yeah! I'm not gonna take a looter prisoner.
That one uh, little jingle is louder than most of the music in this game, for some reason. And my relationship with uh, Smolensk and Riga went up as well. Uh, you know, I don't want to pay for another companion. You're rich now? Not at all. No. I got a thousand dollars, but I'm paying uh, 300 per week for my men. I want to join a kingdom, but I don't know how to do it. When I talked to the leaders of some of the kingdoms, they were like, Nah, you're, you're not good enough. You need to prove yourself, they said. I don't know how to do that. See, in Warband... When you won battles, you would gain renown. And when you won tournaments, you would gain renown. Slam? I can't. It's not an option in this game. You can't do your own thing. Actually, well... I could take an aggressive action against one of the... Kingdoms, and then maybe that would... That would, uh... Prove, prove myself for the enemies of that kingdom. But I don't know if I can do that. Pavlish. Motherfucker is gonna ask for 30 dollars again. He's now in Smolensk. No, he's not. Unless... I just need to walk around and find him. And that's gonna take forever. I don't even have my freaking horse. Can I steal a horse? You would think he would be in the tavern, but no. Prison guard. Maybe he's a prisoner. Who is in prison here? No one. Nice income, yeah. Well. I'm not gonna find him like this dude. And he's not here either. So what the fuck? You lied to me, you bitch. You, you're lucky. I can't hit you. If you've done even a bit of fighting, speaking with one of the sovereigns will probably result in a mercenary contract. However, the real rewards come if you can manage to become a sworn subject of one of these sovereigns. Subjects can own villages, fortresses, and towns, and grow wealthy from the taxes and revenues of their estates. Yes, yeah, see, I want to do that. How do I do that? Right, there are also claimants. Ah, that's, we had that in Warband as well. Um, then I, I want to become a mercenary, I guess, for now. But the freaking hetman of the Cossacks is taken prisoner as well. So I, I feel a bit stuck right now. Don't do that. Hello. Um, I can't ask you where someone is. I 
Company Commander Lauren Sinonos. Has been taken captive by his enemies. Where? Where to? I would be glad to take upon myself a special mission. I, I have an errand for you, sir. As you may know, the treasury of the Cossack Hetman is empty. Yet we have a hidden cache at Dunayevtsi, which we keep for such occasions. You are to take these monies from their elder there and deliver it to Hetman Himelniski. Is that the Hetman who was taken prisoner? A simple job. Why not send one of your men? Nobody must know of it. Therefore, as the Cossack Starshina have decided to bestow the task upon an unknown man. Should the Tatars, or God forbid, the Poles find out about it, they would wage an assault in full strength and take the money for themselves. Oh, who would do such a thing? Who would take a mission, take the money, and then not give the money back to the mission giver? Set yourself up then, and do not tarry. The hetman will offer a reward that befits the task. But how will the elder recognize me? The password is the motto that Cardinal Richelieu Order written upon the cannons. What? The password is the motto that Cardinal Richelieu ordered written upon the cannons. What the fuck are you talking about? What cannons? Hello, Jesus. The game has Tatars, but not anonymous. I mean, it, it makes sense that the game has Tatars. You know? They are... Eastern European... Turks um, who settled in Hungary, but it would make sense for it to have Ottomans as well, considering Ottomans were the strongest nation in the Eastern Europe at the time. And considering that this is a freaking Turkish game, I mean, come on, it has Crimea. It has Crimea, but not Ottomans. That's ridiculous. Maybe they didn't want to have something that powerful. They do have Sweden, but only like... Non-Swedish lands. Like, this is Finland, I think. I'm pretty sure. And... This is obviously like... Estonia... Lithuania, Latvia. Sweden had those at the time, but... They don't have actual Swedish land... ...in this game. Okay, so... Oh, I need to tell them that I couldn't uh, do it. The... BR9 hand mission. And I still haven't, still haven't paid the time. I can still do that, but I don't have the money. Maybe they did it to make the game universal without any bias. Yeah, I don't see that. To be honest, why would it make it not universal to have the Ottomans in? We're, we're you're making a historical simulator game based on Eastern Europe. I mean, this is like... This is... Okay, I can't remember the exact year of the second... Uh, invasion of Vienna, Vienna, but um, this is not that far away from it. Like it's a very much a uh, proper time for the Ottomans to be in this game. Let's see if this works. 
I want to talk about the money. I come to you under orders of the Cossack Starshina. I have been instructed to collect the money and to bring it to Bogdan Kmeninsky. What are you going on about, my good man? I know nothing of this. Hmm, let's see. There must be some kind of password. <laughs> um, okay, I haven't seen any damn cannons. So I'm just gonna guess. Homo homini lupus est. Have you lost your mind, my good man? Enough of this nonsense and give your poor tongue rest. You'd better be on your way. I know nothing of a password and nothing of the Starshina either. If you keep pestering me, I will have to call them, call my sons. They'll teach you about they'll teach you to bother an old man. Can I try again? Si vis pacem parabellum. No, okay. <laughs> he said something about Ken, but I, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I just want to join a stupid kingdom, man. Actually, you know what? I do want to take a break. It's been almost an hour and a half. Maybe one more battle. I don't want to fight three rebels, though. Could you tell me what is the motto that Cardinal Richelieu ordered written on the cannons? What? With fire and sword, everyone knows that. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Go back. With fire and sword. I need that. Have you lost your mind? What? Motherfucker, you lied to me. Asshole. Nah. Fuck you. King Yang Casimir. Where, where is he? He should be close to Bestia Fortress. Bestia Fortress. There. Maybe I can pledge to... Pledge to the Poles. Wait, no, not him. See, he has wings. I have come to offer you my service. You get to show yourself a competent commander. How do I do that? Would you tell me the motto? Why should I care? <laughs> Why should you? Fucking hell. I must send a letter to Colonel Jan Skreskskl. Okay. Um, where is he? Was that the one I just talked to in Krakow? Yeah. Um, do 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 do, -do fortress. There's someone else here now. Edmund Stanislav Potoki. Wow, he actually hates me. Well, I hate him. He lied to me. Okay, you got any other quests for me? They're raising an, raising an army, obviously. Another letter? Okay, we'll play the courier boy for a bit. Get get our uh, relationship up, up with him. I guess I'll be joining the polls. 
Um, fortress. Better be here. No, not not yet. Special mission? No. Send a letter to Hetman Nida Nida Castle. Right there. We're making some money. And are get are getting our relationship relationship up. I hate this text that pops up every time I talk to him. Um, oh, here we go. Some time ago, I loaned a consider considerable sum of money to Hetman Jan Sobieski. $4,000 to be precise. He was supposed to pay it back within the month, but I haven't received a copper from him since. And this was months ago. If you could collect the debt from him on my behalf, I would be grateful indeed. I would even let you keep one-fifth of the amount for your trouble. What say you? Do you know where I can find him? If you leave now and move quickly, you should be able to find him at Lida Castle. Okay, that's the guy I just delivered the letter to, I guess. Oh, he loves us now. Where's my money, bitch? Oh, well, King Jan Kazimir did lend me some silver at ways back, but I've done him quite a few favors in the past, and that money was due to me. Uh, he considers it, it a debt. I still don't see why I should go along with what you're asking of me. I have one point in persuasion. Attempt to persuade. You try your best to persuade Hetman Jan Sobieski, but none of your arguments seem to come out right. Every time you start to make sense, you seem to say something entirely wrong that puts you off track. By the time you finish speaking, you fail to form a single coherent point in your favor, and you realize that all you've done was dig yourself deeper into a hole. Unsurprisingly, Hetman Jan Sobieski does not look impressed. Your skills of persuasion have saved you minus 120 dollars. Also, he wants more money now. Look, I don't care about my relationship with you. Please do it for the sake of our friendship. Minus fourth relation. <laughs> okay. I don't think I owe you such a favor, Jim Pasha. I see no reason to accept this even for you. For oh, you motherfucker, you. Fine. I mean, I'm gonna give him $920. He's gonna give me $4,000. I'm gonna give the $4,000 to King Jan Kazimir. And he's gonna give me one-fifth of that $4,000, which is math. Sign run. I'm waiting. Okay, they went this way. You can see the tracks. Shit! Oh no. <laughs> uh, I hope this is fine. We'll just take it out of my uh, one fifth, please. I lost the tracks. Oh no. Where'd they go? Wait, 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 wait. Here they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. $3,200, so I ended up losing just 120 because I tried to persuade him. But my relationship went off with him, so that's good. 
Pledge, offer it. I come. No. Special mission? No. Another letter? I guess. Milna. Well, I'm gonna take a break.